Question 3. A. 0 0.025 mole of HI is added to a closed vessel and left to reach dynamic equilibrium. At the end, total pressure is 100 kPa. Okay, equation 1 is given. HI decomposed form H2 and I2 and these three compounds will reach dynamic equilibrium. Okay, first part, explain what is mean by dynamic equilibrium. Okay, so you have to explain two things here. So what is the dynamic means? Dynamic means is always changing. So means is the rate for the forward and the rate of the backward. These two rates, they must be equal, same rate. When these two means forward and backwards rate of reactions, so they are equal, so means it can form the dynamic equilibrium, but equilibrium must be there. So what is equilibrium? Means the concentration of the reactant and the products, they must remain constant, not equal, not equal. It's not really means the reactants and products that they must have equal concentration, no. They must remain constant. For example, if the concentration of the HI is X, the H2 is Y, and the I2 is also Y. So the concentration of these, these three means the values, it should remain constant when it reach dynamic equilibrium. So this we call remain constant. They're not necessary, must be equal. Okay, part two. Describe one difference in the initial appearance of the reaction compared to the mixture at equilibrium. This is quite easy. Okay, let me remove this. So we know that initially HI colorless. After decompose is from H2 colorless, uh, I2 is the purple gas. Iodine gas is purple color. So that's why it's from colorless to purple. Okay, write an expression for Kp. So it's the, uh, the constant with the pressure. Huh? So Kp, not Kc, it's Kp with pressure. So we must give an expression with partial pressures of the reactants and products. So it's always products over reactant. So it's quite easy. Uh, so you just use the partial pressure of H2 times partial pressure of the I2 over partial pressure of HI squared. Okay, at equilibrium, the partial pressure of HI is uh, 86.4 kilopascal. Calculate the amount of HI present in the mixture at equilibrium. Show your working. Uh, this question is quite uh, uh, challenging. Uh, if uh, you not really understand this Dalton law. Okay, this is the one that calculate the partial pressure. Okay, before we move into this part, right, the ICE table. Okay, this is the one that you must know. In order to calculate the partial pressure of one of the reactants or products, we must use the mole fraction times the total pressure. The mole fraction is the numbers of mole of the uh, species involved total over the total mole. Okay, this is the mole fraction. Means uh, if let's say we want to calculate the partial pressure of HI, so we just use the mole of HI over total mole, we get the mole fraction times the total pressure, so we'll get the partial pressure of HI. Okay, let's move on to this uh, ICE table, uh, because in the question already told us that 
uh, is 0 0.025 okay for the hi initially is uh, h2 and i2 0 0 so the change it should be uh, minus 2x because it's 2 mole here and plus x plus x for this h2 and i2 combine the i and c okay so you get the equilibrium so this this and this okay sum up all these three so you get 0 0.025 Total mole at equilibrium is 0 0.025. Okay, then use the partial pressures that are given. Okay, the HI partial pressure, okay, which is 86.4, equal to the mole of HI. This is what we want to calculate or get over total mole times total pressure. Rearrange the mole of HI is 0 0.0216. Okay, so for B, use equation 1, uh, this is equation 1, right? this one, 2HI decomposed to form H2 and I2. Okay, and the bond energy's values given in this table, calculate the change in enthalpy for decomposition of one mole, uh, very important. Uh, in the equation 1, is actually 2 mole, so therefore you have to uh, half it, half it, huh? So because it's decomposition of one mole. Now, since you know uh, the <clears throat> enthalpy of reactions is always the sum of the uh, the bond breaking and bond uh, formation. Okay. First, in order for the decomposition to happen, we must break the HI bond. This bond breaking is going to absorb energy so it's endo. After that, those gases atom will combine and form the molecules. So new bondings form. H2 and I2 form and release energy. So when it's a bond formation, then it's exo, negative. So we have to combine these two packs of energy, the endo part and the exo part here. Then we can get the enthalpy uh, per one mole decomposition of one mole of HI. Okay, so first we have to half it because uh, here is uh, two. So we just need to use one mole. So we have to half the, the whole thing. Okay, so this one is the bond breaking part. So it's the HI 299 and it has two. Okay, coefficient is two, huh? so it's two more. So two times bond energy of HI minus minus is the XO part here. This one, the bond formation. Okay, minus okay, this one, the bond energy of HH, this, the bond energy of the iodine, this one. So, substitute all the bond energy in there. So, it's 2 times 299 minus 436 plus 151. Okay, this one is, this pack of energy is for the two moles, decomposition of two moles of HI. So, you have to half it to get per mole here. Okay, at the end, you get positive 5.5. Describe the effect of increasing pressure on the KP value. Uh, then we have to look at uh, the temperatures weather change or not. Because the KP is will change when temperature change. So if we change the concentration of pressure, it won't really change this value. So therefore it's no change. Part D. The HCl is prepared by adding NaCl with concentrated H2SO4. But HI is not prepared okay, by adding the sodium iodide to this concentrated H2SO4. Because the HI produce also react with the H2SO4. Actually, this, this statement already uh, giving you some of the hints. Okay, you just need to understand and answer accordingly. 
Okay, part one, identify the type of reactions occur when the sodium iodide reacts with the uh, H2SO4. Um, okay, this is the, the full equation, the normal equation. If you want to really understand why it's acid base, uh, so let it be the ionic, means uh, let it in the form of the, uh, this uh, iodide. So when we use this iodide, the iodide will gain a protons from H2SO4 from HI. At the same time, H2SO4 after it donates the proton, so it will form the HSO4 negative. So by looking at this equation, you know that okay, this one gains proton, this one is a base iodide, okay, and H2SO4 donates a proton, so it's acid. So therefore, we know that it's acid-base reaction. Okay, part two, write an equation for the reactions of HI with concentrated H2SO4. Uh, after these reactions happen, this one, yeah, this one with H2SO4, is produced HI. The HI will further react with the H2SO4 from these few compounds. Iodine, H2S, of course water. Okay, so other than that, HI also will react with H2SO4 to form SO2 and sulfur. Uh, these are the two equations that uh, uh, also can be used. Okay, so uh, total it will be three equations for these uh, reactions between HI and H2SO4, right? Okay, so means uh, this one is a redox reaction, if you look carefully. Uh, iodide, which is negative one, after reaction from iodine, so it's zero, oxidation number. So the iodide is being oxidized. And the sulfate, therefore we know that is undergo reduction. So the sulfate now is reduced to the H2S. Okay, so the sulfur, sulfate, yeah? sulfate, we know that is, okay, this one negative two times four, negative eight. So this one overcharge is uh, two negative, so we know that this one must be positive six. Okay, so from positive 6 to this one, neg positive 2, sulfur is negative 2. So from positive 6 to negative 2, so it's being reduced. Uh, so that's why this is a redox reaction. Uh, explain part, part 3. Eh? Explain why HI reacts with concentrated H2SO4 whereas HCl cannot. So because we know that HI is a stronger reducing agent. Why? Because HI reduced sulfate to this H2S. So it's actually a stronger reducing agent or stronger reducing power than HCl. Okay, actually this one, uh, we should consider the bond energies too. Because the bond energy of HI is much lesser than HCl. That's why HI is easier to break and reacts with others. But uh, however, the reducing agent, this one, the answer okay, is better. Okay, that's all for this question. Thank you.